Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Dice. And um, in this particular video, I am going to talk about uh, uh, the introduction part of C. Means uh, seriously, we will going to start our C language, and also we are going to discuss some of the features of uh, C language. Okay, observe very carefully. So first, uh, the topic name is what the uh, introduction to C language. Observe very carefully and try to write down the notes uh, along with me. Introduction. Introduction to C language. Okay. So we know already C is a programming language and all these things. So we already completed these things basically. So here introduction means what? Observe very carefully. Again, I'm writing that point. C is a C is a programming language. C is a programming language, basically, which is a which is a observe very carefully, which is a developed by which is a developed by. Dennis Ritchie, Dennis Ritchie, which is developed by Dennis Ritchie at 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 and T S Bell Laboratory, T S Bell Laboratory in USA, in USA at nineteen hundred and seventy two. Okay, now everyone just confirm. See the thing is what the uh, introduction to C language. This is the topic name. So C is what it is a programming language which is developed by Dennis Ritchie at AT and T Wells Laboratory in USA. So that means who is the father of C? The father of C is a Dennis Ritchie. Sir, uh, C is developed at which laboratory? C is developed at AT and T Wells Laboratory. C is developed at uh, AT and uh, T S Bell's laboratory in USA. When it is developed, means when the first version is released in nineteen hundred and seventy-two. Is it clear? That's clear cut information, I can say. Next and after that, if you observe very carefully, sir, why C is called as C? Why not B? Why not A? Why not X? Why not Y? Z or something like? Okay, means the naming. Why C is called as C? Observe very carefully. Why C called? Why C is called as C, not other programming language? Why? What is the reason behind it? The reason is very simple. <clears throat> the reason is very simple. Previously, there is a programming language called as B C P L. There is a programming language which is called as B C P L, Basic Combined Programming Language. What basic combined programming language okay so this language is developed by martin rich martin richard maybe i hope this spelling is correct martin richard this language is developed by martin richard b c p l then then it's okay sir there is a popular programming language is there at that particular time maybe in the 1967 or something like uh, in 1967 there is a popular programming language is there that programming language is called as bcpl that is beginners combined programming language which is developed by uh, martin richards and when it where it is developed at cambridge university i think you know it's a top university that is called as cambridge university basically in cambridge university is also developed okay na right then 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 from this bcpl from this bcpl means ken thompson is inspired from bcpl who is the scientist the scientist name is ken thompson ken thompson is inspired from b language inspired from bcpl language and collected the first name and the name is b the name is b and he invented one programming language is called as a b programming language seriously it is available yes at that particular time it is a po popular programming language sir who, who developed the who developed the b programming language b programming language is developed by ken thompson b programming language is developed by ken thompson basically i can say when it is developed in 1969 or 70 at that particular time it is a developed okay and where it is developed 
it is developed at the same AT and the TS Wells lab. AT and the TS Well lab. Okay. AT and TS Well laboratories. Okay, na? right. Next and after that, if you will observe very carefully why this one is developed. Why? 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 Why B is a developed? Why B language is a developed? Okay. Why B is a developed? Observe very carefully. Why B language is a developed? The straightforward answer to write or to, to, to develop, to develop, develop a Unix operating system. Okay. To develop a Unix operating system. To develop a Unix operating system. Okay, B language was invented. Sir, why B is invented? To, to develop Unix operating system. B language is developed. Is it clear or not? Sir, don't worry about Unix, Linux and all these things. Sir, you have to remember this one. Okay? For developing Unix operating system, B languages came into the pictures. But unfortunately, this is a failure project. Unfortunately, it is a failure project. Unix is fail. Unix is a fail uh, with B language. What I'm saying key, what I'm saying key, what I'm saying key, um, uh, B language, uh, Unix operating system is developed by using B language. Unix operating system is developed by using B language, but it is a failure project. It is a failure project. So then, 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 if you'll observe very carefully, then a new programming languages came into the pictures, which is inspired from B language and BCPL language. That language is called as C language, which is come after 1972. And the father of C language is, uh, of course, uh, Denis Ritchie. Denis Ritchie. So, then once language is called, called as something like a C language, when it is developed? at 1972 who is developed dennis richie is developed sir why the name is c why because why because c c this is dennis richie is inspired from b language as well as a bcpl language so already this ken thompson collected the name b from the first letter of bcpl then ken Thom then dennis richie dennis richie Dennis Ritchie, Dennis Ritchie, Dennis Ritchie inspired this, this name C. C. That means the C is come from here. Getting na? And B is come from here. Okay, now Kane Thompson collected B, Dennis Ritchie collected C. Okay, clear. Okay, so if it is a BXPL, then Dennis Ritchie will, uh, Dennis Ritchie, um, will make this language something like a X. I don't know that. I don't know that. I don't know that. It depends upon Dennis Ritchie. You can contact to Dennis Ritchie. But that person is dead already. Anyway, that's clear cut information. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so it is very interesting. Okay. C is come from B language only. And B is come from BCPL. Okay. And that's clear cut information. So next, I have one doubt to why B languages came into the pictures. What I'm saying key, why B is came into the pictures. Why, sorry, why C is developed? Why C is developed? Why, why? What is the reason of C? C, I already told you that the uh, Unix operating system with B language, it is a failure project. It is a failure. So that's why C is developed uh, to rewrite. Observe very carefully. C is developed. Uh, here, can I write here? Yes. Okay. C language, C language, is developed c language is developed to rewrite to rewrite why i'm saying rewrite means again why because previously it is written by using b language now so that's why c language is developed to rewrite unix operating system to rewrite unix operating system so that's why that's why c language is developed now we are learning C language in academic or something like uh, why because that much popular. Okay. And uh, now if you'll observe very carefully what introduction to C means uh, C is a programming language developed by Dennis Ritchie at AT and T Wells laboratory in USA at 1972. Why C is called as C means come from B. 
and b is come from bcpl okay why b why uh, b language came into the picture sir to develop unix operating system why c language is uh, came into the picture sir unix operating to rewrite the unix operating system to rewrite the unix operating system okay fine father of c dennis ritchie uh, then immediately you may ask what is the mother of c dennis ritchie wife no 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 <laughs> wrong terminology okay don't think too much okay anyway so ken thompson is the father of b language and uh, these two are developed at at and t bells laboratory and um, um, uh, something like uh, martin richards developed the bcpl uh, in 1972 at cambridge university basically what i can say right that's clear cut information i can say okay fine ready the first version of c released at 1972 okay i hope it is clear yeah that is clear cut information let me erase all these things sir. okay next and after that if you'll observe very carefully um yeah, you may ask me sir which book is very good for c so the book name is k and r s book okay k and r s book so this is very very famous book and this book is written by dennis ritchie only this book is written by dennis ritchie only um, but as a beginner you will feel lot of difficulties um, why because it's not like uh, easy okay it's not like easy okay otherwise you can follow any other book i'll suggest uh, you can follow let us see okay uh, otherwise you can follow c in depth right otherwise you can follow c by rima thereja any book based on your requirement you can follow no and no issues at all okay k and r is a best book for c why because it's a genuine book okay k and r book okay so very famous for k and r book okay k and r book. anyway i'll cover all these things okay anyway if you are interested you can go for it okay but other uh, for other technology or something like I, I i don't recommend all book kind of things for c language if you are interested you can go for it otherwise no issues okay fine for it fine okay so we completed introduction part of c language and um, what is the requirement and all these things so why c is came into the pictures uh, or why b is came into the pictures and all these things the uh, father of c mother of c okay first versions where it is developed completed next i'll next i'll going to discuss c language features c language feature okay features means what are the fee uh, if tomorrow i will going to purchase uh, one mobile what are the features are a suppose a 6 gb ram 128 gb ro internal memory okay kind of things a so 64 megapixel camera these are the features sir. advantages okay I, I can say the premium point okay so similarly what are exactly the features available for something like a c language that's what exactly i'm saying right c the features of c language the first features of c language is a something like called as a simple c is a simple c is a simple c uh, <laughs> uh, one example that is what key mm, i think there are a lot of suppose there are lot of uh i can say products are there suppose lots of oil brand is there okay food oil lots of food oil brand is there suppose the oil brand i will not going to take any oil brand name suppose the oil brand name x y z i x is saying number one i am number one then y is saying also i am number one See, this one is also saying i am number one this one is also saying i am number one no one is saying i'm number two i'm number three or something like everyone number one number one in india number one in australia or japan or whatever it's maybe everyone is saying i'm number one number one number one so that's why you can take any programming language they will say ki their language is simple okay i'm saying the clear cut information sir. you can take any programming language they will say ki our programming language is a very simple they will say our programming language is a very simple you can talk about java c++ python php everything you can take they will say our programming language is a very easy so similarly c is saying our programming is very easy 
but seriously it is not that much easy why because this is your first programming language na this is your first programming language this is your this is your first programming language this is your first programming language so you may feel little bit of difficulties but consistency is the key of success if you will maintain the consistency then no one can beat you then only it will be simple if you will practice then only it will be very beneficial otherwise i can say if you compare with the other language like python and all c is bit difficult c is bit difficult uh, it's a very fast programming language so they are saying simple but in my word uh, it is simple if you will maintain consistency if you will maintain consistency and if you will practice all the codes uh, okay everything if you will practice and if you will make the notes if you will uh, revise for then then only it will be simple for you otherwise not it's a clear cut information i'm saying okay it's not that much easy fine sir so that, that's clear cut information it is simple clear next and after that yes this is a, the quality point c is very fast super fast i can say c is a very fast than java python and other programming language c execute very fast next and after that if we'll talk about like a, a c language there is a concept called as a dynamic memory allocations dma means at execution time we can increase or decrease the size of the memory so what is the meaning of this one so the meaning of this one is what uh, suppose i developed one program okay and i'm executing and i am storing what 10 student data 10 student data suppose at execution time what is execution time or something like don't worry okay so what exactly i'm doing whenever i'm executing i am I, I, my intention is what i'm going to ten store 10 student data but suddenly my plan changed two new student came so we have to store how many data we have to store 12 student data so you have to increase your two more cell kind of things sir okay so these are the things which is possible with the help of a dma at execution time we can increase memory we can decrease the memory we can increase the memory we can decrease the memory suppose my intention i am going to store 20 student data but four student gone four student suppose uh, four student gone so that's why we have to store 16 student data so that means uh, we can decrease the memory what i'm saying ki suppose we created a one two three four five cell can you increase the cell at execution time yes can you delete the cell at execution time yes that's what i'm saying that is called as dma okay by using calloc malloc or realloc or free function is there everything we are going to discuss practically don't worry it's a very interesting topic now okay so then and after that uh, i can say um, c is having reach library reach library functions sir what is the meaning of reach library what is the meaning of library functions and all don't worry we will cover but i'll going to discuss with an example now okay so what i'm saying ki suppose you have two option suppose you have a two option the option is what uh, you have to add a two number you have to add two number maybe i'll going to write like this a is equal to 10 comma b is equal to 20 sum is equals to a plus b print sum suppose suppose don't think too much okay so this is this is one way this is something like one way first way and you have to remember this is called as suppose a manual way manual way suppose i'll give one more um, option to you that is what if i'm going to write a print print add and i will going to pass 10 comma 20 what is the meaning of this one don't worry if i'm going to pass 10 comma 20 it will going to give me suppose 30 which one is good this three line code or this one this one is good now suppose here if you're going to write a 20 20 so 20 20 here what exactly you have to do 20 20 if i'm going to write 30 30 so here you have to write 30 30 so if you'll observe very carefully if you'll compare this code with this code this is a less code this is a less code so this is suppose I, I can say library function so don't worry observe you will slowly observe very carefully in future in function chapter so what i'm saying ki, instead of writing multiple codes so if they provided this type of things uh, then it will be very beneficial for us so c is provided this type of things to us means inbuilt code we have to just write 
okay na is it clear so that is called as reach library function so suppose if you want to find out the square root of a number sqrt of a number so no need to write all these codes they you have to just pass square root of 4 it will going to give you the result easy or difficult easy slowly slowly sir as of now you have to remember what is sim simple fast dma reach library and don't worry about what is the reach library what is dma these are the separate topic na okay na fine next and after that i'll cover that the fifth point that is called as something like a c general purpose general purpose see i already covered the general purpose general purpose means by using c language you can develop different different type of applications okay next uh yeah next one is your something like c is statically type c is a statically type sir what is the meaning of statical type what is the meaning of a statical type okay see observe what is the meaning of statical type means uh, suppose python is a dynamic dynamically typed c is a statically typed so statical typed means what uh, here i'll going to explain statical type as well as a dynamical type suppose i'll going to write a is equals to 20 comma b is equal to 30 and uh, sum is equals to a plus b print sum okay print sum here also i'll going to write a is equal to 20 comma b is equal to 30 sum is equals to a plus b print sum so what i'm saying ki in the case of in the case of statically programming language you have to mention this 10 and 20 is which type it is a integer type we have to mention we have to learn in a data data type don't worry and here also you have to mention your sum is which type integer type but these things is not required to mention in the case of a dynamical type is it clear in the case of python kind of language this thing is a not required to mention clear i hope right so suppose i'll going to write a is equal to 7.3 in the case of c language you have to write a float you have to mention float but in the case of python not required to mention it will automatically it will going to detect automatically then immediately you may think which one is good this one or this one of course both are is having their own advantages and disadvantages the advantages of this one is what less code you have to write up and uh, this is your not your duty automatically it will going to detect but here the advantages is what see if internally it will going to add int in the case of python or in the case of dynamical type programming language means it required more time na it required more time it will going to search then it will going to add it will going to add but here we already mention na so which one is faster statically typed or dynamical typed statically typed faster why statically type is faster no direct execution so we already everything mentioned direct execution but here it will going to check and it will going to add but which one is good based on your requirement okay na i hope it is clear and this is the story related to c features i cover c features sir as well as i cover something like called as a um introduction to c language uh, introduction to b language why c languages came into the pictures and all these things sir and that's it thank you so much for watching this particular video we will going to discuss um in a next video we'll continue in a next video thank you so much